Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. So happy holidays to everybody. So uh, again, we are very happy to, uh, you know, to welcome all of you on our Thursday webinar. And uh, today is uh, the last Thursday uh, in 2022. And uh, so we are so excited to say goodbye to 2022 and to welcome uh, 2023. And today we have a special webinar for you. Um, and most of you probably already know our speaker, uh, Zohal Tursunboyeva is a smiley, radiant, young professional. Uh, and uh, she, uh, today she will be talking about uh, how to self-motivate and how to use self-motivation and what are, uh, you know, the useful tips that teachers can use in order uh, to boost themselves, uh, to boost their energy, and uh, to be full of ideas, creativity, and to be full of happiness in the coming year. So welcome, Zohal, to English with our Boris uh, Thursday webinar. It's always a big joy to welcome you and to host you. So uh, thank you. Let, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So and let me introduce our speaker today. Zuhal Tursunboeva has been working as an English instructor for seven years now. Um, this remarkable journey gave her a phenomenal opportunity to help your students in their studies through the most effective approaches. Currently, Zuhal is working on creating new programs for professional and personal development. Also, she's busy conducting professional and personal development training for English teachers. And in the future, Zohal is planning to enlarge her teaching career and continue helping English instructors in their professional and personal development. And uh, with great pleasure, I'm giving the floor to our speaker today. Uh, dear all, please uh, remember that this session is recorded and will be live streamed on Facebook and Zoom. And uh, it's actually, uh, you know, uh, live streamed now, and you can ask your questions uh, via chat box or this comment box on Facebook. So we will address your questions to our speaker. So stay tuned with us and so I'll over to you. Thank you. And giving the opportunity, receiving the great information and experience from uh, the greatest teachers that I've met in the conference and that I have been working with them. So thank you so much. So let me share my screen now and we will start our today uh, presentation. Of course, this is my great pleasure. And this is the topic when uh, always people are talking about motivation and all of these things. I always remember myself when I was like in 2017, I was like as a volunteer in a program and then I was like teaching. Yes, I like just teaching and that's it. And sometimes there was just a kind of like um, no motivation for me enough because for a teacher, not only just the salary, but something uh, something more than that is motivation. So uh, starting from 2017, I have like one thing for me is helping for teachers as well as students to motivate them. How wonderful, how great, because this is the most important thing that everyone should know about themselves. So of course, uh, here's one greatest thing that I have written like on the first slide. And this is the wonderful thing that I always remind for myself, like you are the first domino. Like the rest of the dominoes are always behind. They are always behind. If you will just fold down the rest of the dominoes will do the same. So what does it exactly means is, of course, uh, it really means like the motivation that we really need, we should give to others. Like everything that is a great quote, like everything that you need for yourself or everything that you really want for yourself. Don't want it. 
or don't need it, just give it to other and then see you with another one. This is how it works. So like, of course, thank you uh, for, uh, I am just taking a, an opportunity to thank those uh, like uh, participants, I mean, uh, the teachers, the professionals who are joining today. So welcoming them and thank you so much for being uh, here today because this is the 29th. As Nasiba had mentioned, like this is the last Thursday and we are saying like goodbye, like goodbye 2022 and then saying like welcome 23. And of course, uh, what the most important thing in ourselves and in others the way that we touch, the way that we are communicating with us. Others. This is, of course, motivation. This is really important for us. What do you think? What is being like out loud? What motivation? What comes to your mind? Like one word. Comes to you. It can be different things. Just share with one word what it is exactly for you. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nasiba, for sharing. Absolutely. So very good word, like boomerang. I like it. Like one word is I boomerang. That means whatever as you send outside will come back to you. This is the universal law. This is the law of oneness. This is the first law of the universe. Absolutely. So yes, motivation for everyone would be different. It can be like for a teacher, it is exactly, this is the success of this student. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So for the teacher, uh, for the teacher, it can be like the success of the students. For the mother, it can be like her child, her children are studying successful. They are doing great at school. They are always getting excellent. For someone else, for the cookie, it, for the chef, actually, it can be that someone would say, oh, delicious, awesome. Thank you for cooking. So success. This is always comes with motivation. Motivation is always when we uh, up. Zuhal, Zuhal. Absolutely. You are just. Uh, yeah, Zuhal, yes. sorry for interrupting you. Maybe you will just, you know, uh, turn off your video because your voice is just, you know, kind of falling and we don't properly hear you. Mm. Okay. You just, just turn turning off your... my video. Yeah, turn your off. camera, okay. your camera. Yeah, and then you will start talking. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. So then... Uh... It is of course like motivation, how it goes, as I, as I said, it is just happiness. It is how it goes. This is of course makes, uh, makes us happy when we do what we really like. There is dedication, uh, dedication to everything. And that is of course one, one very important thing. And this is our happiness. Absolutely, absolutely. 
So success, as I said, is for someone, this is um, your happiness, this is your career, for someone, this is your job, for someone, uh, someone it is uh, like their children. But there is one thing that we always forget about is this is the big I. Like there is two I, the egoic I, and there is one I, this is the self-love I which is absolutely different from the egoic. So when, uh, when the person is absolutely know what, what, what he wants or what she wants, like what, what are the things that they really want, this is the self-dedication. This is what we really want. And then you will be the first domino for the person, like how? If you smile, you're already you already the first domino because you know thousands of people here uh most of the people they don't smile because they have to, they don't have time for that most of the people are kind of like they are too busy to dedicate their time for themselves to like okay guy come on like someone like what I have been doing the whole my life. I was teaching, teaching, teaching absolutely yes. And you had done a great job. But there is one thing. Is it something that you did for yourself? Is it something that you had spent time for yourself? This is the 2023 will be the greatest time, the greatest journey for the self-dedication. So this is how it happens is you will take the things that you really like. Like the first time what I did is like no one was reading uh, at my house. Like I would just give an example how I became a first domino. So I was just really, I wanted to read the book, but I hate because all the time that I was picking that book, I said, I just want to read, but I was just reading a few sentences and that's it. I found myself in a bed sleeping and that's it. That was my the, my journey for like flirting with it. Wanted everyone around me should read it. You need to do this, you need to do that. However, not, none of those people like had done anything. And that I've started myself demonstrating, like I've de demonstrated like, okay, I, I started reading different kinds of books and even didn't like even share, like you need to read, you need to do this, none of these words. And after some time, after two to three weeks, so what I did is, like to me and said, reading. I said, I'm reading, this is an interesting book. I really like it. And we, we were chatting about that book. And then the second week that um, teachers to read it, let's see what's happening. So this is how it happened. If you really want to change someone, never tell them. Just do read a book. Don't tell them, okay, you need to read. After some, like some, some while it will take time and then they will start reading because they will, the action will demonstrate them how powerful it is. And of course, it will, it will go with your students as well. The students are really tired. And these days that I'm teaching my students, they are getting very tired. They are saying, you know, teacher, we have started a lot of things but now we are kind of too tired I mean there's no self-dedication there's no time for us we don't have time for for ourselves and I'm saying like what is your routine what is your routine what time do you get up and they are saying you know teacher what what time we are getting up at eight o'clock and then we are going we are running for a walk because we are late because and I'm asking why you are late and they are saying you know we were just uh, we went to bed very late 
and I'm asking, and what you done, what you have done like last night uh, because of what like you uh, went to bed very late and they are saying, you know, there was a very interesting movie. Like I was watching a series and Turkish series and Indian series and Indian movie and some other movies. And I'm asking, okay, so that's a quite a good reason. I would say it's, a, it's, it's okay. Like, and then they are saying, I, therefore, I'm late for a job and I was running for a job. And of course, when I was at work, it was too late to do some stuff. It was because uh, already lunchtime and we went with our friend for having lunch and we had lunch. And then after that, I came to work and I started. I just started doing my work, just my wife or my husband called or my children called, like we have meeting and at school, we have meeting somewhere else or our, our relatives are coming. And then I just went home, stuff there, actually it's quite hard because they are going home, they are cooking, and they're just doing a lot is coming and saying, hey, come on, it's too salty. Why it's too salt or salty? Why it is not enough here? And then they're cooking, having with their family dinner, kind of like. And then they're going to watch a movie, like a TV. And then they are going to bed. This is exactly the routine that I've described for many people that I was talking with, for many, with many teachers, with many students. And this is going for 43 years. This is going for 23 years. And this is going for many years. And this is the paradigm that we are living with. So the paradigm is the habit. This is the habitual behavior. We are living in the world of automatic things. Like you're doing everything automatically. You have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do that, but there is no time for yourself. Like no even 15 minutes to sit somewhere and how everything is changing. How is the weather changing? How is how are how people are talking, how they are laughing with each other, how they are doing, how they are helping with each other. So there is no time for self-dedication. And one thing that teachers, as a teacher for us, is very important is we need to understand one very important thing that we are the first dominoes. Like if we dedicate our life to ourselves, I mean, everything to ourselves, this is not the egoic that everything, yes, everything for me, but I don't care about you. No, I'm not talking about this. I'm thinking that self-love, like the morning that you get up and you're saying like, you know, I really love myself. I'm really excited about everything. I'm really happy about this and all of these things. These are the most important thing that we need to understand, like the self-dedication, the self-realization. So now there is one uh, important thing like here on my outline, I would like, have you, what kind of questions like, if I'm, I'm saying like self-dedication and self-motivation and self-happiness, have you ever thought about this? Have you ever asked any question that you have ever had? Like any questions, what kind of questions you had in your life? Just about yourself, just about being you, being who you really are. Like, have you ever asked any question? And what the question? Uh, Zohal, if you don't mind, can you write your question in the chat box? Because uh, your connection is not so stable, and sometimes we miss part of your, uh, like, you know, speech. 
Maybe you'll write your question in the chat box and uh, the audience will respond to your question. Okay? Okay, Thank you. for sure. Thank you. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, have you ever asked yourself the question, the question is, who am I? And have you ever un got the answer to this? Hmm. Absolutely. Thank, th thank you, Nasiba, for sharing. Thank you for sharing. That is the question that everyone should ask themselves, like, who am I? When I'm asking my students, like, when I'm talking with them and saying, like, they are too tired to accept what is verb to be. So I'm telling them, like, who you really are. And they are saying, you know, my name is my name is Sabrina. I am from Dushanbe, and I'm living in this particular space, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. I'm saying, no, don't tell me this, like where you are from, and uh, your possessions, and your family members, and how many family you have, and your status. Don't tell me. And then I'm asking, who you are then? And they are looking at me and saying, like, teacher, yes, we know that you are crazy, but not that much. So this is the question that happiness comes with writer that was actually writing that wonderful he has is there is no way to happiness happiness is the way itself so we are looking for the happiness we are creating a lot of things and then finally we are coming that we are not happy because we are looking for the way for the happiness but happiness is the way itself toward everything so i have put here in my presentation question and intention, visualization, and three level of creation. So some of you, can you please just tell me any idea about these three words, like attention, visualization, and three level of creation? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. The human being, the human being is like we are being but not doing. We today rather think that we are doing, like we are more doing rather than being. Our job here is to be, not to do. Like the doing kind of like directs into being, but it ex exactly everything is a being. So attention, hum human being is the holy trinity. So it consists of the mind, which creates, absolutely, you're saying, absolutely. 
So human is consists of three, kind of like a, as a pyramid. So has a mind, has a soul, has a body. And then the mind is for the creation, like whatever we create. The body is just acting, I mean, doing. It is just an instrument. The mind and the uh, kind of like mind and the body are just the instrument that we are utilizing for applying and doing the things. And the soul is just the being. So attention is the most important thing. If we take our attention and direct it to the good kind of like side, it creates a lot of things. For example, there is a person who is always sitting in the bus and then thinking about very kind of like negative things. And if he's thinking like negative things, he's always he always will be creating those things he will be negative things he'll be talking it attention it and you direct it to the kind of like level to the side where you should create visualization is the most powerful thing whatever pictures you see right now whatever pictures that you see in my presentation now, the original, the original form it was in the mind of someone who, were, or who was created them. Like the original format and the original thing. Whatever we see today <clears throat> as a teachers, like we are creating, we are helping our students to be, I mean, to help them to study all of these things. But if they don't know who they are, if they are not happy with what they, whatever they are doing, so not even just kind of they will study all the level of English, they will not be happy at all. And then the visualization will help you how to teach your students. The visualization will help you how you can help the student who is always getting to you from the school because he has a self-image. His self image is always telling him like, you are too bad. He already believe in this and that's it. And finally, like if you use visualization as you are sharing, this is absolutely seeing. This is the clear picture that you have in your mind. This is the clear picture, the clear 2023 picture that you have in your mind. Now, do you exactly have you are the person what you see. People are saying like, if you, you want to, under, it is really difficult to understand people. It is really <laughs> kind of like difficult to understand uh, what kind of people you see. And this, uh, it is really hard, but it is not hard because just look at their life and you will understand what kind of level of vibration there and that's it i mean how they you have the picture of do you see yourself how do you go do you see yourself how you will be talking with people do you see yourself what perfume you will be using do you smell it do you do you hear the voice that you will be speaking do you see the colors and the clothes that you will be wearing? Do you feel the feeling that you will be who you are? Not as a teacher, not as a mother, not as a wife, not as a sister, not as anyone, but who you really are. Are, like the identity, the one who you are. That's it. Like, do you see yourself? If you don't see it just right now. And just make it be seeing it in a physical life.
because your mind your mind that the real is it right now or are you thinking about it just your mind just created and your attention kind of like as you pour the water to flower as you need to take care of the flower this is your attention and free as you the human being the human being Uh, Zuhal, we lost you. Uh, we don't hear you. Hello? Okay. Um, so I, I think Zuhal doesn't have a good connection, but anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, keep the discussion. Yes, I mean this. Uh, okay, now she has joined. Good. I'm Zuhal? sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. is a problem it's problem in Dushanbe too so <laughs> so like uh so we were talking about the uh, three level of creation as I was talking like you are creating your three levels so the first is your thought they are very powerful you can think about someone like of your friend that you you were not uh i mean just you you have just seen long ago and then we're not talking with him you just think about him and that's it tomorrow after tomorrow he will definitely call you this is how it actually works this is very powerful your thoughts and then it is like more than powerful than the light if you kind of like enter your room and turn on the light your thought is more powerful than the light that you are turned. I mean, it is more fast. It's going very fast and it is recorded. Your words are more powerful than your thoughts. I was just thinking we had, a, uh, we had a, um, the group in WhatsApp for teachers and they are doing very good. Like Zebo is doing very good job. She's sharing the affirmation. And I was, oh, I was always looking and just observing how, how teachers are doing great job. So that it was like uh, two, three weeks ago that I was sharing like, you need to create your affirmation. This is the positive thing that will help your mind to replace the thought, the replace the negative energy. If you're feeling yourself kind of like not good, don't think about how to feel good. Just think, just feel yourself good and that's it. If you want to kind of like uh, empty the glass, you should not fight with the emptiness. You should just fill it up and that's it. This is how it works. And then finally your actions, actions. Actions are very powerful, but see, people are creating in two levels and then they don't know. They are speak, they are thinking one thought, talking about another and doing in other things. This is how it works. And then this is the three level creation, but in different sides. And then they are coming to me and saying, teacher, you said like we need to visualize and we are not getting anything. I don't believe I am going to throw my visualization ball. And I'm asking them, okay, what do you think about money? They think that I want money. And I'm saying you should not want money because want is the idea that you don't have, but you want to create it. This is, you should believe that it should be faith on this leg. You already have it. You already have it. This is the same picture that you will be thinking about in 2023, that who you want to become like who you want to become from the person that you are now and you want to become like exactly become the one not with your profession nothing just who you really want to be and the question to find the answer to the question who am I no kind of like no anything know your relatives please no. I would say one, not who you are. This is the dot. This is the point, the little point. 
that you think about that is the very powerful, I would say you are a very powerful machine. You are creating, you are very, very, very much creating, but you don't know about this. This is how we need to demonstrate. This is how we need to use those powerful things that we are, uh, we are using. In the conference, I was asking like, why the cat cannot imagine? Like, why doesn't, uh, why kind of like uh, she doesn't have, I mean, the ability to imagine like she can have a meet and again and again. So this is the demonstration that we need to understand as a human being, we imagine, we have an imagination. We create our life. We, we do a lot, have a lot of things. This is who we are. We are always very good. I mean, because no one knows what is this. So, and then, uh, of course, I got the question, and this is very, very wonderful question. I would say, like, if you have a picture of yourself, if you have a picture of yourself, and you will be just picturing it, this is just the machine without generator. This is just the machine. This is the generator. Generator is the emotion that you will have in. So, so this is uh, the generator. See, if you have, uh, if if you have the picture of yourself, if you have the picture of yourself, what you need to do is. You need to visualize it three times per day, early in the morning that you get up, in the afternoon you need to do it, and in the evening. And you need to add to this emotion. The emotion that shouldn't say that you are going to become, no, but you are already that. You are already what you are. This is the emotion that you already have it. You already, you are already the person that you want to feel yourself, how you will be feeling with your favorite shoes yourself, how you will be fe feeling with your favorite uh, kind of like dress, how you will be feeling if you will receive that amount of money for yourself. This is the feeling, this is the emotion, and this is the generator. Without your feeling, without your emotion, nothing will work out. This will be just a picture and that's it. So, and then, as I said, like there is just imagine you are coming and you are very stressful. You're very upset about the situation or about the situation you have just heard. And of course you will go now with that situation one by one. So that means you will get with one frequency Frequency is the level of the vibration that you are in. So assume if you have a favorite color, so you are with that frequency. If you have a favorite flower, you are with that frequency. If you with the situation, same kind of like really, really hard for us to stay in a positive emotion, in a positive feeling, in a positive... Uh, having a positive thought all the time. So what we need to do is you need to just take what I'm doing is always when I'm late for the bus all the time as I'm doing, sometimes I'm late, late for the bus and saying, oh, this is cool, you know? One, one thing that I'm doing is, oh, it is time. It is, although I'm being late for a job, I'm being late for my classes, but I'm saying like, Oh, this is very good opportunity for me to do my gratitude. This is a great opportunity for me. This is one thing that I'm doing. The second thing is, what I'm doing is I am trying to pay attention to the past. So uh, don't want to miss this. 
I was just um, watching the video with the EWB and then uh, like you, you were just uh, doing a video and it was like Dushanbe is becoming more beautiful every day. It was kind of like a, a phrase. It was a phrase, but I was looking like how the Dushanbe is becoming very beautiful. I was very uh, kind of like curious about this. And what I'm doing is I'm paying attention to the kids who are playing, they are playing. So yes, this is very beautiful. So the second thing is like people, the old man is coming and talking with the old women. And this is so beautiful. They are just chatting and they are laughing. This is how beautiful. So just pick up your attention, your focus. Attention is the focus. And where you direct your focus, where you direct your fo focus, those situations you will attract more. Your focus, your attention is attraction with your feeling. And then this is how it works. If, for example, you are late for a job, just find something for you that you really like. Just do gratitude. Gratitude is the first and the most powerful energy. This is very powerful. Like for what in uh, for what you're grateful. I mean, do your gratitude list. Like I'm great wins. I'm great for every single thing. I'm grateful for the people that I will meet today. And I'm grateful for this. And I'm grateful for that. If, if no one is around you, you can say it out loud. In order, because it is very powerful if you will do it out loud. This is how it works. And then immediately that time, if you will do, your energy will but It will just change automatically. This is changing automatically. We are very powerful, but we don't know about this. We are mostly, we prefer professional development more. Like we need to take that certificate that we never get. We need to take uh, the IELTS, like the band seven, but we never get. And we are running to do this course, to do that course, rather than stop and asking ourselves a question, what's wrong? I mean, why I'm running, why I'm trying very hard, nothing, nothing works out. The balance between the professional and personal development is very, very important. Like it's very important in school. It's very important in education. It's very important in teaching it's very very important because the students are coming from different side and you know for the teacher it's very i would say it's very dangerous it is very dangerous because when she's in class she has 13 students and every each one of them has their level of frequency and most of them are negative can you imagine most of them are negative and if they but all of them come to the class in one what will happen to the poor teacher if she is very strong in herself, if she knows like how to work with the negative energy. And uh, most of the time when I'm observing uh, like the teacher out before the class, they are too energetic. After the class, you should not look at them because they are too kind of like tired and they don't even know why they are tired they are saying i was teaching i was uh kind of like speaking a lot but not that is not the reason the reason is like she's receiving a lot of negative energy she's receiving a lot of negative energy and poor body is acting on this acting accepting rather than rejecting and then this is what we call professional development we we rather kind of like develop new courses for earning this certificate for earning that certificate this is very powerful this is very good but one time if kind of like each one of us as a teacher each one of us as a trainer would not help for the teachers like calm down sit down with yourself and observe the beauty of life. Observe the power of life. 
the name of the human being, another name and another synonym for the human being, this is the creator. We are the creators. We create our life. Whatever you have created, whatever you have seen in your life till today, you have created yourself unconsciously and consciously. This is how we are living. This is how we are trying to help for ourselves. This is what we need to do. Personal development. This is what I call. This is personal development. Are you excited with whatever you are doing? If you are congratulations you are on the right way right way and one quote that i always read for myself and saying like, find what you really liked it you should leave your dream and dream. this is how it works this is how it works the most difficult thing in everything is self-realization. This is very difficult, but this is very, very important. So how can you, can you repeat your last sentence? Because, uh, yeah, we didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. Powerful. We are. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nasiba, for always reminding me because uh, I don't know why, because from my side, it is going really well like the realization we really are the power that we have the wonderful being and this presentation was not about the human being in the mind it was about self-realization who we really are who we really are in the human being like in the body that we have, not the body that we are, but the, the teacher, the example that I, I was just, uh, share, I had shared it, like for the teacher, it is really dangerous because she has 13, 11 students, uh, which like most of the students are very negative and how she's going, to work with this out, how she's going to deal with all of this. Thing. I'm just done with my present. Of course, there is some time for your questions and of course for your suggestion. And thank you so much for the wonderful uh, questions and for, for the wonderful ideas that you had shared then it was wonderful finding me the life to this actually thank you for this yes very good very good question thank you nasiba so the negative uh like 13 negative thoughts of his students, of his students, actually. It can be uh, for each student, like it can be different thoughts as we see. For some, it can be hate. For someone, uh, it can be, I mean, they have different kind of thoughts and one can be more like powerful rather than another is for dealing with the negative things and dealing for with everything negative is the first thing is she she should or he should be very powerful about him i mean the self-realization of who i mean the 
does he or she have an answer, have an answer to the question like who they are? This is the first thing. The second thing is it should be practiced. It should be practiced on a regular basis. It cannot be do, uh, I mean, they cannot tomorrow go and say like, I already know how to deal with the negative thoughts. I already know how to feel my students. I already know how to do all of these things. So it should be practiced on regular basis and very powerful uh, practice for this is meditation, visualization, attention, and self-realization. Absolutely. This is works, the, this works, you know, how the, the teacher is, if she's very positive and if she knows all of these things, so it will really help her. It will really help her. And she will be kind of like very okay with her family as well. But you know how it affects to her and to her family and it goes kind of like this. Absolutely, absolutely. So it can be like, if the teacher have to, we, we love. And most of us that we are working is we have to. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no any other way. Mm -hmm. That is, there are ways, of course, there is a way, of course but we would rather think that there is no. So we should rather say like we have to. Mm -hmm. If the teacher hates her job, it is kind of like, I would say, I would support your statement and say like, it is double dangerous for her, for her family, for her student, for her work. I mean, for, for, for the job that she's doing and for the work that she's doing. If even she is in the bus, it is very dangerous for the bus. Because her negative thoughts is spreading everywhere and attracting exactly the same, exactly boomerang, like attra attracting the same, the same students and everything. Absolutely. The power uh, I, is, uh -huh. yes. No, no, no. I, yes, I, I completely, I completely agree with you. In some situation, for example, you find some tough situation and you start looking for some reason. And uh, you know, in many cases, I I catch myself also just you know finding the reason outside rather than in myself, uh, because we usually find if something goes wrong, then it's it's something beyond us. Yeah. But then I catch myself, so, okay, if it's not beyond, if it's, uh, you know, within me, then I should go and I should find what was wrong in my thought that it brought uh, this uh, kind of result. Because so far I know that, you know, the world uh, which is around us is, is, a, is a direct uh, uh, re reflection of our thoughts. And then, uh, you know, in many cases, we usually try to find out some reason outside uh, without asking th these questions to ourselves first, right? Um, and I remember one story. Uh, one dog uh, went into a big palace and this palace was empty. And on, uh, on the walls, there were uh, hundreds uh, hundred and hundreds of mirrors. And the dog uh, was locked inside the you know that palace but in the morning uh you know uh the the dog keeper of the palace found that dog dead and uh like people asked why he was dead because and the doorman he said like you know because uh whenever uh, the dog was inside and in the mirror he saw some you know the reflection of himself of herself but but he saw that uh, uh, it, it was another another dog, and he started barking, 
So the reflection was also barking and he then he started fighting, you know, with his reflection. And then finally just, you know, uh, he was too exhausted and then like uh, he, uh, the dog died. So I think this is, this is how it works in our life. Uh, so, and you know, you know much more better than I do. So I'll please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Nasiba. This is wonderful example, I would say, wonderful example in today's life. Like we would rather fight our re reflection rather than ourselves. Like we are fighting for the, uh, for the bad attitude of others. We are fighting with them that they were just not kind of like, uh, good with us and then we would punish them we we would rather not talk with them and say bad words this is the reflection rather than going inside and finalizing and finding out all of these things then there is two ways of looking to the world this is from the perspective of the mind and from the perspective of the soul so the soul is the heart is the unconditional love that we are I mean, this is we don't have, but that is we who we really are. This is the, we are the unconditional love. This is one word I would say me. And that we see. Yeah, so how we couldn't hear your thought because, like, um, you're uh, dragging. Hello? Oh. Uh, yeah, can you can you please repeat your last sentence? Ah, okay. Now you hear me? Yeah. So as I said, uh, we always look at the world, at the physical world. Yeah, sometimes we uh, experience like, uh, you know, internet issues in Tajikistan. So it's okay. Let's be patient. Uh, yeah, it's quite a good concept that we are discussing today. And Zuhal is uh, doing good. I mean, just uh, by delivering her thoughts. And I guess like, you know, uh, Ilona and Mary, you got some uh, new ideas from today's discussion, right? Uh, and if you unmute yourself and share some of your takeaways from today's session, that would be great. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, it was very interesting to listen to Zuha's uh, presentation today. And uh, the ideas that she shared with us were uh, quite new for me. So uh, I have to look uh, uh, for some more information, but it was a very nice thought provoking um, presentation. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. And I know that Zuhal is like, you know, is, is, is very much interested in, um, in self, uh, you know, in self awareness and also just, you know, in, in self motivation and like, you know, in, in, in just, you know, self-realization. And maybe Zohal will recommend some really nice books for us to read, uh, you know, to, to be better aware of, uh, uh, of how, how the world around us is functioning and how we can, you know, better function knowing these, uh, you know, instruments. Can you, yeah, can you please share Zohal those books, uh, the yeah. name of the books with us? That would be great, thank you. Yeah, 
actually very wonderful books that I, um, I, I would suggest is by Wen Dyer, all his books that are wonderful. He has about intention, he has about like self-realization, self-awareness, and he has a wonderful movie, the movie called The Shift. So this is very wonderful movie. I, I, I suggest to uh, like, if, if you have time for watching, this is a wonderful movie. He's uh, my first writer that I'm always reading. And then of course, Bob Proctor. Uh, Bob Proctor and uh, of course, some other writers. Uh, I would, I, I, I should just share here with you all, all the books. So I have a lot of books, but I, I'm sharing only the writers. So the writers, I've uh, just read all those, uh, just like share it. With uh. Yeah, thank you so much, Zohal. Uh, so meantime, we have just, you know, a couple of more minutes for a quick question and answers. Uh, so uh, we have a question from Mihri. Uh, so I have some students. They are so active, but sometimes they stop. Sometimes like what to do when somebody stops. Uh, so maybe just you give a couple of uh, hints uh, or tips, yeah, uh, for Mihri. Zohal, thank you. Okay. So, yeah, a uh, very good question, Mulma uh, Mehri. Yes. So, yeah, so oh, sorry. Thank you. So, sorry. Uh, I missed some words because I have the bad internet connection too. But uh, first, I'm explain my question. Uh, mm -hmm. I have some students. I had this my students uh, time too. Sometimes I serve students like me, and, and during uh, more reading and more preparing, they are so stopping. And when I'm asking them why you are so stopped, and the, their answer is always that. Uh, we, when we are uh, searching something a lot, when we are reading so lot, we are becoming not so active, but we becoming so stopped. And uh, I don't know what to do with them. Maybe you have some advice to help us with this problem. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mulma Mehri, for, for sharing this. Of course, uh, I would just share my experience. Uh, one word that I always tell for everyone that uh, I just share my my opinion. I just share my experience, and that's it. so I what I would say is so every action that we take and every action that our students are doing, this is first of all their thought. I mean, this is their thought. So the thought becomes the word, the word becomes the action. This is how it actually works. And then if they are really tired and sometimes, uh, sometimes there is disbalance between their personal life, I mean the life that they have outside and the life that they have in class. And it makes kind of sometimes stu students and people very tired. So in my case, what I, I sometimes do is uh, kind of like helping my students to take a rest, to help them with the meditation. I mean, tell them what it is. I mean, find out information what meditation is and do meditation, do activities in your classes. This is what I do. When I look at my students, because they cannot be always active, let them to be, uh, I'm letting my students to be very lazy sometimes, you know? I'm letting them to be very crazy sometimes. I'm letting them to be very quiet sometimes. I'm letting, the, uh, letting them to be very kind of like creative sometimes. And this is how actually it works. Uh, people are very tight because of their life. They are too tight, but they don't know anyone to, anyone to whom they can go and say that. 
I'm really tired. I'm extremely tired of everything and most of the most of the things that we have. So just let them for a while, just observe. Uh, I mean, observe, let them be kind of like uh, lazy or kind of like they are very tired. And somehow, somehow motivate them, like help them to understand that they are very, they are doing very good. You know, the most of the uh, problem of the students that they always think that this is not enough for them. Then they need, so just one, this is how you can, so, Thank you. I, I hope, Mulma um, Mehri, I hope that you, I have answered your, uh, your question. And of course, this is the way that I'm doing in my classes. So if it will work for you, if it will work out for you, so you can definitely use it. If not, so definitely, if, if any kind of like questions in the future, we will be in touch, of course. And then uh, I will be really excited to share and to see how the students are having like the good progress. So I've shared with you uh, the writers the writers and uh, you can find all the wonderful books. I have like many of them, thousands of them, but I will suggest from this one. So these are very, very wonderful books you can go through and then uh, we can Nasiba. So I hope more kind of like uh, interactions and uh, kind of like trainings and all of these things with teachers know. I really want that uh, the teachers should have professional and personal development in an equal way. So mm -hmm. I think you will be the first, uh, you will be the first program <laughs> who will be just doing the personal and professional uh, on the equal way. And you are doing a wonderful job. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, uh, Zohal, for a very interesting presentation. I think like, you know, uh, our teachers are like, uh, you know, got very interested in, 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 in this topic of self uh, awareness, uh, self-determination, uh, self-motivation, and self-realization. And I hope that we will conduct more sessions on this topic. So everyone will, will better use, you know, the soul, the body, and the mind. So, uh, you know, to, to, to become like, you know, better professionals in their field uh, altogether. Thank you so much, dear all. And uh, using this moment, I would like also to extend our deepest Congratulations to all of you and our wishes to all of you in the coming 2023. Happy holidays to all of you, our best wishes. And of course, like uh, we will be happy to see you in the webinars. Uh, yeah, so, you know, our, all our webinars are all year round and we welcome your contribution, your participation in our webinars because uh, English with our borders is a community of English language teachers and learners and together with you we are shaping building it to make it working to make it a friendly to make it welcoming space for all of us uh, to share to discuss uh, and also just you know uh, to find the better way how to become uh, personally and professionally good teachers <laughs> yeah uh, so thank you so much happy new year to all wishing you all the best Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.